It's 27 degrees out. Not quite as cold in the garage, but uh, I'm gonna test out the preconditioning um, features with the new software update on the Model S. are on front defroster yeah that's the front defroster is on well besides it says it's defrosting I'm not sure what the squiggly these squiggly heat lines mean I don't know if that means rear defroster I think it means rear defroster but I also think it means seat heaters um, but we'll have to test it I don't see a steering wheel icon and I don't see the battery heater icon probably because it's not um, cold enough out uh, the car is 49 degrees which is a little, because it's in the garage. Um, so, yeah, I'll let it preheat, and then I'm gonna go out and see if the seat is actually warm or not. Hi, Gigi. So it's been about five to 10 minutes, I think, of preconditioning, so let's go check the car. Um, I think this is going to be cold. I have bare feet too. The app says it's... Oops, I need the key. The app says it's um, 72 degrees air temperature inside the car. So... Alright, let's see. Yeah, I can feel... I can feel the heat! All right. Oh, ho, ho, that's so cool. Yeah, the steering wheel is warm. You can feel it. This seat, it's not cold. So, I guess it's warm, but for some reason the steering wheel heater feels way warmer than the um, seat heater. Oh, that's so cool. So, um, yeah, so let me show you. Yeah, let's go to, uh, I gotta go here. Yeah, so as long as whatever you have here, previously, um, the only thing that would come back on, well, actually, for preconditioning, um, none of this would happen, um, except maybe the front defroster. I'm, I'm not sure, actually, but I don't actually think so. I think the reason, like, the windows would be kind of defrosted if you precondition is just because the car is heated and then it heats the glass. But anyway, now um, you could see uh, the app said it was defrosting, so. That was going, uh, I can't show any effect because there's nothing on the windshield right now, but um, and now uh, if you have the steering wheel heater on, if you have any of the seat, well actually I haven't tested the back ones, but anyway, if you have um, the seat heaters on, they come back on automatically, not just when you come back into the car and drive away, but also when you precondition, which is, which is really cool because um, I mean, it gets pretty cold out here, so even if you precondition the car um, in terms of the air, it's still, you know, the, the seat fabric can still actually be pretty cold when you actually sit down um, in the car. Woo. Okay. So that's really cool. That was, so the uh, app update for that came uh, a couple weeks ago, and then, um, it's kind of yellowish in here. And then there had to be a um, a uh, software update for the car in order to uh, um, activate all those features. So, so this is a pretty small update, uh, but it's really cool. Steering wheel heaters, a lot of cars have them, but um, as far as I know, one of the problems uh, with them, even with other cars, is that you have to turn them on every time you want to use them, which sounds like um, classic first world problem. Um, but it's like it's it, usually it's not just cold for one day at least in places that actually get a lot of cold so i use the seat i mean uh, i use the steering wheel heater almost every day uh, when i go to work um, so not having to turn it on just having it left on for the entire winter is really cool but in addition it's really cool to have the preconditioning now just um, go all out heating everything <clears throat> the seats the steering wheel the air the defrosters all that kind of stuff that's um that's really cool especially if you have it plugged in and you don't have to worry about using extra range or something which the heat i mean relative to the size of the battery if you have a decent charge um is not a huge deal so yeah now that winter is coming to a close 
really excited about these heating features. 